All right. Good evening, everyone. I will call the 11th regular Common Council meeting to order. Will the clerk please state the quote of the evening? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Thank you. Will the clerk call the roll? Alderperson Ackley. Excused. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Here. Alderperson Flicky Paneski. Here. Alderperson Heideman. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perella. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Rust. Present. Alderperson Salazar. Here. There are nine present. Thank you. Uh, next is the Pledge of Allegiance. If everyone could please stand. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Alder Decker, is there a motion to approve the minutes? Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from the 10th regular council meeting held on August 21st, 2023. Second. Moved and seconded. Question on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor of approval of the minutes, state aye. 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 Any objection? Minutes are approved. Next is mayoral confirmation. City Attorney? Yes. So there are uh, two uh, appointments for your confirmation. Kara Autumn to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee and Matt Wiersbach to be considered for appointment to the Historic Preservation Commission. Thank you. Um, Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to confirm. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Nine eyes. All right, that's approved. Anyone for public forum this evening, City Clerk? No one this evening. Thank you. Uh, just a few things for mayoral announcements. Uh, I just wanted to wish everyone a belated happy Labor Day. I hope everyone uh, enjoyed uh, their weekend um, uh, as well. I want to welcome our new pl uh, planning and uh, planning and development director, Diane. Diane, if you want to give a wave, uh, this is Diane's first City Council meeting, so we're ecstatic to have her. Um, and she's just been uh, jumping right into it. So uh, we're excited to have uh, Diane on the team as well. Um, upcoming uh, business improvement district announcement on September 14th uh, for small businesses on the in downtown on 8th Street on the riverfront as well as the South Pier District. The bid will be having their fall meeting on September 14th at 6 p.m. More information on that can be found on the bids website as well. Um, also, just a general announcement uh, regarding one of our community partners, Bookworm Garden. Uh, Bookworm Garden is uh, launching a national read uh, that they received a national reading color grant with a uh, launch party. So uh, Sheboygan has been categorized as a book desert with a lower than average access to books in individual households. With the help of many community partners, Bookworm Gar Gardens will be placing 10 book sharing boxes filled with culturally relevant books throughout the community to increase access to literacy in many geographic locations um, across the city as well. So um, it's exciting that Bookworm will be partnering with many uh, local nonprofits and community partners, including the Mead Public Library, um, uh, to make sure that we can uh, ensure that kiddos uh, are have access to good books and can stay on top of their literacy goals. So. Those are just my quick highlights and announcements for this evening. So thank you. We'll jump into the consent agenda. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all our our oral ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion on any items uh, specifically in the consent agenda? Uh, Alder Flicky Paneski. Thank you. Um, I am looking at number 11 about the South Pier ban on parking on the on the cul-de-sac between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. Um, I have two questions is was that put in place because there have been issues between those hours and then secondly um, are those the hours that are the same as the hours that are along Broughton Drive who wants to take that David or Ryan Right. David? 
Uh, your your right. second question, oh. I can answer right, right away. The hours for the 11 a.m. the four, or I'm sorry, 11 p.m. the 4 a.m. That's the same as our city parks. That's kind of that's kind of where that where that time frame came from. And also, yes, uh, we've had numerous requests from businesses and residents in the area of just um, activity, cars down in, in that area between that between those hours at night. So, does is Broughton Drive a city park area? Broughton Actually, Drive is a street, not a park. The, I believe the street. Uh, I believe the street is two a.m. to six a.m. that you can't park on Broughton Drive. Okay. Just from memory. Thank you. Alder Prella? Yes, I just want to add, since this is in my district, that there have been numerous complaints in the past as well, even before the cul-de-sac was closed for work. Um, and so we, those complaints came back and there was some sense of urgency that was uh, passed on to us before reopening, even if those, um, those issues could be mitigated by setting hours of no parking. Any other discussion on any of the consent agenda items? Alder Prella? Yes, I believe it is number 10 as well. Uh, as far as the DNR request, I mean the work on the grant, my question is about the, there is a point um, indicating that there would be, uh, so the, let me see, the be it further resolved that if the grant application is approved, the finance director may draw up to 50,000 and then 25, so 50,000 from one account and 25,000 from another account. Shouldn't be just a matching of 25 as the grant is max 25,000, the grant that we can uh, be eligible to. Finance director. Yes, so the expense account will see the full amount of the invoices coming through it, so that's why there's that $50,000 amount in there. The reason the $25,000 is in there is because that's the grant amount, so we're just showing that the budget is increasing to offset part of the expense. So the actual expense, the actual expense from, the, from the city is only the $50,000. Actually, it's, it's only the $25,000. Correct, that's yeah. my understanding, yes. Thank you. Any other discussion on consent agenda items? Seeing no more cues, this is a roll call vote. Nine is. All right, those items are approved. Uh, reports of officers, uh, those items will be referred to their respective committees. Next is resolutions item number 15, resolution number 542324 by Elder Person Salazar Feldy, authorizing the 8th Street Ale House LLC to use certain city property of right of way for an event on September 15th and 16th, 2023, and permitting the possession of open alcohol containers on said property. Elder Salazar? I ask to suspend the rules. Any objection? Seeing none, please proceed. I move to adopt the resolution. Sir, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Nine eyes. That's approved. Next item, 16, resolution number 552324 by older persons Decker and Rust, authorizing the appropriate city officials to issue a purchase order for the two APG turbo blowers for the wastewater treatment plant. Older Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I ask to suspend the rules. Is there any objection? Please proceed with your motion. I move to adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, roll call vote. Oh, Alder Prella. Yes, um, so I understand that one of these was um, damaged by a fire in April 2023. And so I was curious to know if that is covered by insurance. And second question on that is, um, 
so we are going to, why didn't we act sooner? Why didn't we try to move on soon after we were left only with one of them? And plus there was another, and, and I'm sorry, that I just want to um, you know, summarize my, my concerns about this. Also, um, it seems that one was installed only in 2022 so was that a new blower that was installed that already is defected? I'm just curious about that. David, you wanna get this? Yes, thanks. Good, excellent questions. And I also have uh, Jordan from the wastewater treatment plant if he's able to chime in and, 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 and add some additional context to us. You're right, the, the fire we've been working through with the insurance, trying to capture that and get it, get, get a, a result on that on that issue, um, and with the insurance, there was you know pending should it has to be in kind exact replacement of what was burned in the fire. Um, there's there's been absolutely hardly any movement on there, and it's been back and forth, and it's it's at the point where the one that is destroyed with the fire, the one that's currently operating is the same make and model of the one that started on fire, and it's the same age. So we're concerned about the longevity, and that's really the, the only blower that's what I would say the most steady state that is helping. The other one, yes, it is new, and it was purchased in 2022, and it has numerous issues that we've been dealing with the manufacturer under warranty. And at this point, um, we have no zero confidence in it moving forward in terms of a reliability, and we're very concerned that if we don't purchase these two available blowers, that the plant itself and its ability to meet the re regulations for, for its oxygen demand could be severely compromised. That's why we're moving so fast on this. The other thing is, is that we were fortunate that these two blowers were actually ready to go to a different plant that was under construction, but that plant is delayed, so they're readily available. Otherwise, the lead time on these blowers is over, over a half a year to a year out. So, and if, if you don't mind, uh, Council, if Jordan could provide some additional context, he can provide what I would say much more of a, a history of the items that he's been dealing with on a daily basis with this situation. Jordan? Thank you, and excellent questions. Again, Alder Perella and, and Director Beeble addressed most of what I was gonna say. Obviously, we have more detail if you want it. I think the biggest thing that resonated with me about your questions was why didn't we act sooner? And so just a little more context on that is that, as Director Beeble said, the insurance process has been very, very slow, uh, very frustrating for us as a staff that we haven't been hearing from them. Uh, the concerns with the blower that's about a year old continue. And so last week, um, a couple of key things happened. First of all, that blower started to experience more problems and um, just kind of reinforced, as Director Beeble said, that we just don't have confidence that it's a reliable unit at this point. And then the opportunity that Director Beeble talked about where we found that there are these blowers that are available with a very, very short lead time. Um, and so it just seemed like um, it was the right time to, to ask for this. In hindsight, maybe we should have asked for something like this three or four months ago. We just hope that the insurance process or this newer blower would work well and that we wouldn't have to come to this point, but these things were kind of all coming together and we felt like we should. I appreciate both answers, and my main concern is, of course, for safety, so I do agree completely that it has to be done. Um, it just, I, I want to make sure that we recoup some of the money through the insurance and or also because of the second one, which is basically new, uh, so that, to, that taxpayers' money is, you know, uh, we are responsible with that. And both of those processes will continue pursuing insurance and pursuing having the right thing done with that manufacturer. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions on item 16? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Nine eyes. That item is approved. Items 17 through 20 will be referred to their respective committees. 
Next, reports of committees, item number 21, RC number 73-23-24, by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 49-23-24, by older persons Mitchell and Flicky Paneski, authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a cancellation agreement and mutual release in order to terminate the vacant land offer to purchase regarding the purchase of an additional 7.9 acres from Sh by Sheboygan South Point Development, LLC. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. It's been moved uh, to approve. Is there a second? So there's been a motion to accept, and then there's been a, a second as well. So any discussion on this item? Seeing none, Al Al Alder Mitchell. I guess I would just ask for clarification on the recommendation to file. I was not present at the meeting. I did just receive a note that the ask on this one was to adopt, and it was the sense that the intention of the committee was to recommend that. but. Yes, there if was. I would have been here earlier, I would have had those conversations. Mm -hmm. yep. Unfortunately, I was not. So, so at the committee meeting, uh, the discussion was around adopting uh, the resolution. Uh, the chair requested a uh, uh, a motion to adopt. Apparently, um, unheard to some of us in the back of the room, the motion actually was made to file. We believe that was an error because there was never any discussion to file. Filing it would also be problematic. Um, because we need to get this property back on the market. So we, we figured it was just an error by the mover and an error that was not actually heard by the audience, and we actually had to go to the video to pick it up. So the request motion is to accept and approve. Yes. And that motion has been made and that, seconded. Correct. Alder flick is this an uh, item? Yeah, I'm... So the motion before us right now is to adopt the resolution. Let's even adopt, yes. Thank you. Any other discussions on this item? Seeing none, roll call vote. All those in favor, go to your muni code. Nine eyes. That's approved. Items 22 through 24 will be referred to their respective committees. We've exhausted the agenda. Alder Decker? I move to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objections? We're adjourned at 617. We'll take a five minute recess uh, and then we'll convene in committee of the whole. Thank you.